What's going on everyone? Welcome back to the Headquarters YouTube channel. Today I'm going to be teaching you guys how to turn regular jeans into epic shorts. Let's go! Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Headquarters YouTube channel. This is Moses Vega, your host. Um, thank you so much for clicking on the video. This is really similar to the Fear of God Epic Jeans that I did about a little while ago. This video is really late, I'm sorry about that, but we are heading into summer, and so I thought it was the perfect time to introduce the same kind of distressed style of jeans, but in shorts. So obviously what I had to do was go back to my favorite clothing retailer, H&M. They're not sponsoring this video, but um, I really like their jeans. They're really comfortable, they're really uh, stretchy, and they're a good platform to do the distressing. So with that said, $30 was a great price point for me to do this at. Let's get to it. So trying on the jeans, making sure that they fit right, and picking out the distress points and where you want to make the first cut is really important. So as you see, I'm just sitting down, making marks where I want it to be cut at. Next was the scary part, which was actually cutting the jeans in half. You can't uncut them, so just be really precise on where the cut is at. Now keep in mind guys, this is my first time doing the whole shorts thing, but it's really simple. You really don't have to put too much thought into it to be honest. It's supposed to look distressed naturally, so whatever you feel like, just kind of go with it. So what I did is... I just made minor changes every single time I did something to the jean, I tried them on, and then if I didn't like it, I made changes. As you can see right now, I cut the jeans in half, I'm distressing the bottoms because when I first started doing these, what I wanted to do was distress the bottom, make a cuff, and then distress the cuff so that way you can see the distressing from underneath. Now it was cool in theory, I scratched that idea and I went with something completely different. After you're done making your first cut and you're distressing the bottoms the way you want, the next part is to do, make sure you actually like the length of the jean, of course, and sit down and start marking the distressing where you want it to be with either fabric chalk or a marker, whatever the case is. But the reason why you sit down is because you want to see where the stressing is going to be while you're sitting. So that way it looks natural. As you can see, I'm not being discriminated at all. I'm just scratching my pants with a pen. It doesn't matter. If, if you're going to end up not distressing that area, maybe use a chalk marker or something like that. Next, I have my little uh, insert here where I'm going to be making my cut. I put the insert inside the jean so that way when I use my rotary tool and make sure that it doesn't cut through the bottom part of the jean. Now keep in mind guys when you are making your first cut make sure it's right in the middle of the distress area and try to make sure that it's as straight across as possible. So then now the next thing you're going to do grab a needle and just start gently picking out the white threads. The reason why when you're making your first cut you want to do right across is so that way don't cut any of the white threads. You're going to cut some white threads but you'll see later on why I try not to make diagonal cuts. So as you keep pulling out the white threads you're going to start exposing them and at the same time you're going to start exposing the blue threads as well. Just keep going until you get to the point where the blue threads are getting really, really tall and you could just snip those. Now as you can see, this is how they look when they're distressed towards the bottom. I like to keep a little bit of the blue down at the bottom so that way it looks natural. And then you can do the same thing to the top part. Now what you see me doing right here is I'm actually making guidelines to where I want the distressing to stop and start. 
the middle of the patch is going to be where it's going to be most stressed and it's going to start tapering down towards the bottoms and the tops almost like in a diamond shape and you can just see me here roughly making the outline of where i want that to be now the next technique that i'm going to be showing you guys is a really simple technique that i've learned myself and it makes the time go by extra fast and it actually makes the distressing look really really cool and natural so what you're going to end up doing is folding the jean in half, I guess lengthwise, and you're gonna start cutting little strips, okay? I like to keep my strips between half an inch to three quarters of an inch uh, tall, I suppose, and just make as many of them as you can. Within that parameter that I drew my little diamond out of, I maybe did maybe about four or five strips, and you'll see why I did that in a second. Now this process makes the distressing really, really simple. So what I did, I just took one of the strips and I start pulling out the blue threads with tweezers. It makes it really fast, really simple. And I don't know, I'm, I don't know if I'm weird, but it's almost therapeutic to kind of do it. Just try it out for yourself. As you can see here, you can see some blue and you can see some white. What I ended up doing was pulling out the blue threads for some of them and then scratching out the blue part for the other strip. And this is how you can see it, how it looks when it's completely done. I really like the way this look came out. I'm really proud of it. Just try it out for yourself, it's simple. Okay, so the next thing that I did, like I said earlier, I cut the bottom part off. And what I noticed is that the patch, with the distress patch was really close to the bottom. So I just used my zigzag stitch machines to make sure that they don't overlap each other and start unfraying. Guys, thank you so much. I hope you guys enjoy the edit. If you have any questions, leave them down in the comments below. If you want more, subscribe, let me know.